Let's check in the 14 first alert. Chief Meteorologist Brian Schofield. Mm. We're getting a little tiny break from the sticky today. It really is. It's a little <laughs> break. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, a better break. And then for the weekend, then we start to turn it all around again and bring back the opportunity for some more of these clouds to actually be rain bearing clouds. And actually, Potentially still afternoons early enough. We could see a few uh, pop ups over the mountains, but we're not looking at much. Maybe uh, some of those pop ups will uh, die off and we'll get some wind out of the bargain, but it just doesn't look like much is happening right now. So just some nice scattered cumulus right now. Uh, bottom line for us is temperatures have warmed up now that we've dried out a little bit. Look at that. It still feels hot, but maybe it doesn't feel as stifling. I, I hope not, but I think bottom line is once you raise the temperatures up and lower the humidity a little bit, it still feels hot no matter how you slice. This is summer. Uh, 105 Southern Highlands, the same UNLV. And Desert Droplet not producing really much here. And these were the uh, usual spots to see uh, right there. Earlier today, we're talking about a few flare ups over the mountains, but really nothing doing in that last frame. Obviously, that's just a bad last frame, but you can see over the mountains, it's just not an issue for us now. Things have just kind of cleared out. They pop up a little bit, they don't hold together well. And then the valley floor looks like this. So tomorrow will be look a lot like this as well. And really, with that drier punch coming in, even though we'll still see more of a southerly flow, not quite a southeasterly flow, however, so we're not bringing any more moisture in, but we are kind of leveling things off off, kind of putting the summer monsoon at bay. It'll stay out toward the east through Phoenix. So I think through tomorrow we're staying relatively dry, hot once again, similar temperatures what you're feeling today. I might even bump a few of these up to reflect current trends that Friday will probably be the hottest day of the week so far. And we've had hotter days obviously to 116 and beyond, right? But uh, these are hot days for us, especially when you add in humidity. That's southerly flow 5 to 10. But it won't be as a stifling. It'll be 11, 12 percent. That's really about it. So here's the weekend in view for you. Temperatures start to come back down again because we increase the moisture. Everything does an about face. Gets back in. That big 180 makes a big difference in how everything goes. And we'll start to really see uh, not only the temperatures drop, which is not as significant as the big thunderstorms roll in. These are numbers I'll probably lower a little bit as well because now that the newest computer model runs are coming in, showing better chances to get thunderstorms Sunday into Monday, maybe lasting into Tuesday and a little strip of Wednesday day before we start to warm it back up again and dry things back out by the end of next week. Back to you guys.